I'm delighted to be here today to join our referred, prayer father, Honorable Shahadiya Ye, and in the Bulls, Gaga II, under the single's guests, at the official opening of the IFE Grand Resort and the Lost Park. I happily congratulate IBSC, the Aroli Odua, and all near of IFE on the official unfailing of this brand new city of arms, which has been conceived to generate employment for our youths, empower them, as well as showcase the rich cultural heritage and value of Ilefe, spread on over 1,000 acres of land. The result, consisting of facilities for lodging, accommodation, a 3,000 sitting capacity meeting incentive conference, an event center branded Ojada Arena, and multiple industrial parks will certainly only have been the product of a fecund mind like that of KBAC. For anyone familiar with KBAC's trajectory and passion for youth and, and social economic development, this indeed will not come as a surprise. In 2016 alone, only Oguzi empowered 250 youths in diverse agriculture-related schemes and has since improved on it. He founded the All New Oguzi Youth and Employment Summit, an honor engagement launched since he selected the throne of his forefathers as a solution to the problem of youth unemployment, poverty, and any economy. In 2019, he organized a summit on addressing growing youth unemployment in Nigeria, the significance of made in Nigeria and by Nigeria to rally Nigerians to patronize made in Nigerian goods. Or Neo Bursi donated motorized local fumigators to states across Nigeria during the COVID 19 pandemic. He also partnered with Afe Barala on clinical research to develop drugs and vaccines to combat the coronavirus pandemic. As a government, we are immensely proud of your achievements since your assumption of the throne of your fathers. This sprawling edifice is another worthy feather in this regard. I must note that this result, no doubt, is in tandem with the administration development agenda, which is focused on revitalizing our economy and stimulating the local economy for the maximum growth. This we are doing by leveraging on the first instance our comprehensive advantage in tourism and culture, mining and agriculture. Our infrastructure development plan is also clearly targeted at ensuring that we open up the latent economic potentials of our towns by ensuring that our people are supported the requisite social identities of decent living. Therefore, we are immensely grateful to KBAC for joining forces with us to strengthen our economy. I hope other royal fathers to take a key from KBAC by using their influence and instrument of office to support the development of our state. Let me employ this medium to strike the initiatives such as on its creating and attracting to labor. We only try and be sustainable in an atmosphere of peace. I therefore appeal to our youth and people to continue to allow peace to reign so that we can enjoy the dividends of the enterprise. It is now my pleasure to officially unfold the Israel Grand Resort and the social park to the glory of God and for the views of humanity. I thank you for listening. God bless you. The very source of humanity and mankind, the source and the soul of the Yoruba people, our pride, our strength, and our joy. This beautiful resort, which shall endure and go from strength to strength by the grace of God. I am proud of him. I am proud of the people of Ilefe. I am a son of the source. My great-grandfather brought Christianity to this land. 
My grandfather was part of this land. My father was part of this land. I am part of this land. And my ruler, my traditional ruler, my king and my lord, who I pray for every day, is the only man on this earth that will say, let me go in this direction and I will go. No other man can do that, whether president, governor, or whatever. You know why? Presidents and governors come and go. It's only a question of time. But the traditional ruler, our king, the king of the source, our soul, our strength, the one that stands before God for us all, the one that, the custodian of our traditions, and the custodians of the soul of the Yoruba people, in Ile effect, he endures from the time he climbs that throne to the time that the Lord calls him. Therefore, he will be there for many, many years. And we shall stand before him, bow before him, and honor him. And we shall honor the people in Ife. Great Ife, I love you. I know you love me, and I love you. And I will always love you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for your guidance, friendship, and uh, humor. Moses, thank you for your being there when we need advice and access. You guys just get it. I especially want to thank my colleagues, Carrie Richard, CEO of ARM Africa, and Smart Kabadia, COO of ARM Africa. These two gentlemen love their homeland without reservation. They've worked years to bring this moment to pass. We at ARM admittedly have other issues on our agenda, but they never gave up. They believed in Nigeria. They believed in the people. They believed in you. They helped me believe in you. I love it here. ARM USA is coming to Nigeria starting with Field Ife. Today I am in Nigeria. Thank you very much. <laughs>